few days ago, a 45-year-old Osanya de Ekato was alleged to have died at Hope Ministry Church during a deliverance session. The news of the death of the man threw residents and relations into confusion on what could have been responsible for the death of Osanya de Ekato. Reacting to the incident, some clergymen who said it is only God that can really attest on what transpired said it is possible in the course of the deliverance that the deceased may have hit his head against an object. They called on clergymen to ensure competent persons are assigned the responsibility to assist persons during deliverance. When prayers are being done on deliverance services, the pastor should have enough of hands to be with him. So that when the person that is being prayed for is either manifesting or trying to fall, there should be enough of hands to guide the individual so that when he or she either falls or drops, will not hit himself or injure himself or herself. In deliverance ministry, uh, you don't force someone to be delivered. Yours is to preach the gospel. Jesus healed, Jesus saved, Jesus delivered. If the person agreed, fine. If the person said no, you leave the person. The issue of coming to well, let me tie it in the hands. If that is true, no, it's uncalled for. I have been in a deliverance ministry for quite a long time. When I was conducting some deliverance in the, one of the fellowship, a woman, you know, uh, fell very heavily and fell backward and knocked her head on the ground. But in this case, I'm not able to actually say what happened whether it fell or it didn't fall or something traumatic happened during the deliverance process. The pastor of Hope Ministry Church is currently being investigated by the police over the incident. Patience Osayonwabo reporting.